Thank you for joining us today. We're gonna to provide a video tour of the Northwest Commuter Rail Service proposed by RTD as part of the Regional Fast Tracks program. The tour will take about 12 minutes to show you the alignment that will be shared with Freight Rail Service and the six new stations, plus the three existing stations that are now in service on the B line. To give you a sense of the corridor, the existing B line will be shown in green. The existing freight line, as we get to that, will be shown in red. And then where we have station sidings, those will be shown in blue and the example passenger loading platforms in a purple. The red dot on the map to the left will show our location as we progress along the alignment. So let's start at Union Station and we will take the B line tracks north from Union Station and cross over the Platte River and we'll be coming to Interstate 25. Again, on the B-Line tracks underneath I-25 and coming up to the 41st and Fox existing station. From there, continuing north, the line goes underneath Interstate 70. And to the right, you can see the existing commuter rail maintenance facility that RTD uses for the A-Line, the B-Line, the G-Line, and the N-Line. The Northwest Rail will have its own maintenance facility at the end of line in Longmont. Following the B line, we're coming to the Pecos station with parking. Coming up to the I-76 undercrossing, now we're in the Clear Creek floodplain, but of course up on the rail embankment. As we turn to the northwest, we approach the Westminster Station, which is the last station on the B-Line and is located at 72nd and Lowell. From here, we leave RTD's B-Line commuter rail track, and Northwest Rail would then join the existing freight track owned by BNSF Railway, and that's shown in red. The peak service plan proposes sharing the freight track, and this would be the only place in RTD's system that uses a private railroad's track. RTD will follow the freight track onto Longmont. Streets you can see, 76th Avenue. So these will all be at grade crossings as we continue north, crossing 80th Avenue, and approaching Sheridan using that undercrossing. Coming up now will be the first new station on the Northwest Line for downtown Westminster. The station platform you can see there in purple, the siding in blue, and that's all south of 88th Avenue. Crossing 88th at grade, and then continuing north to cross Pierce Street, and coming up to 92nd Avenue, and we'll go underneath 92nd with the existing bridge. Crossing Old Wadsworth at grade, and somewhere between the downtown Westminster station and the next station up in Broomfield, we would be looking for a passing siding where the freight train could park while the passenger train operates. Continuing along the alignment, crossing Church Ranch Parkway on the existing bridge, Wadsworth, crossing underneath US 36, and approaching 112th Avenue, which we would cross at grade. We're now at a location where the city of Broomfield would like to locate a station somewhere around 116th Avenue. A lot of planning work remains to be done to locate that, that facility. Crossing over 120th Avenue, coming up here to Wadsworth Parkway, and we would be underneath that. Between Wadsworth Parkway and Brainerd, you can see some freight rail sidings to the right-hand side of the existing alignment. Those might also be available to take the freight train off while the passenger train is operating. 
Coming up to the Flatiron Station, this would be a shared facility with the existing park and ride that's used for the Flatiron Flyer. Continuing now to follow the track and into the city of Louisville, where we would cross underneath Northwest Parkway at the existing bridge. Leading from the parkway, continuing at grade for a crossing at Dillon Road, and coming up to Courtesy Road, or State Highway 42, and proceeding to downtown Louisville. In downtown Louisville, another station would be located, working with the city, uh, and that would be somewhere north of Pine Street, to use the existing crossing at South Street and providing the station platform that would fit in with the development. We are now crossing South Boulder Road at grade and continuing north to Baseline Road. Somewhere between Louisville and Boulder, two additional passing sidings for the freight train to be stored while the passenger service is operating are under consideration. Nearing 75th Street, we would be using the existing bridge on the existing track and continue north as it begins to curve and head for Arapahoe or State Highway 7. And we would use uh, those bridges as well. Then turning more to the west and coming into the city of Boulder, following the freight tracks, there would be several crossings of the South Boulder Creek drainage ways, 63rd Street at grade, and coming up to 55th Street, which would also be at grade. From here, the alignment continues to cross under Foothills Parkway and approach Pearl Parkway and the Boulder Transit Village and Depot Junction. This would be a major transfer point fitting in with the existing park and ride and bus facilities and the transit-oriented development that is underway. From there, crossing Valmont Road, coming back to Foothills Parkway to go underneath, and from here, beginning to join the alignment of the diagonal highway, State Highway 119. Continuing on the freight track, we would be crossing each of the major roadways at grade, so J Road, for example. And somewhere north of, of J Road, towards Longmont, we would look for another freight track siding. As we follow the diagonal, off to the left, you'll see where the 119 BRT stations are proposed as we go along the corridor. The commuter rail service would not stop in this segment, and this segment is about a third of the total length of the Northwest Rail extension. The straight track along the diagonal offers a very smooth operation on the rail line, and that travel time would be in the range of uh, 10 to 15 minutes at the most. As we near the city of Longmont, crossing Ogallala Road at grade, and coming up to Hover, and the street system for the city of Longmont. Crossing Hover, again at grade, coming up alongside 119, crossing Sunset, and then crossing Ken Pratt Parkway, across the river, and then under the parkway again, and the Longmont Station. 
crossing Kaufman Street and then uh, stopping before we get to US 287. Off to the east would be the rail maintenance facility and the three sites that are uh, still under consideration are shown here in the diagrams that follow. We appreciate you joining us for this brief tour and we look forward to answering your questions as you offer those either online or in our in-person meetings. Thank you.